Last year was the first showing for the Game Awards, a new ceremony based on our lovely industry. And it's coming back this year on December 3rd. Reggie fils is one of many advisors on the show's board, so we're likely going to see something neat from Nintendo. Whether it's as neat as last year's Zelda U footage is another question, but it's good to see the TGA's return, and it's good to see Nintendo have some part. You know, with all the bugging people have directed at Reggie about, you know, showing a Metroid game, I would laugh my ass off if he showed Metroid Prime Federation Force. <laughs> oh, I don't think they're going to be talking about that. Oh, I don't think so either. At but, all, but it, until it comes out. But it seems like it, it seems like out. a Reggie vindictive sort of move. Yeah. I'm just wearing this pin because I like Metroid. <laughs> and then it turns out he was telling the total truth. Yeah, I know. I think it would uh, it'd be pretty fitting if they actually came back and gave us a uh, another look at Zelda U, and this time with a much more fleshed out overworld, because that's the last yeah. time we saw Zelda U, was at the Game Awards, and you know, everyone thought it looked good, and it was, you know, huge overworld, but that it was, you know, kind of lacking in terms of depth and content, mm -hmm. and then they announced that they were delaying it to flesh things out more, so I think this would be, you know, a great time to revisit it and say, you know, hey, you haven't seen this game in a year, here's why, here's what we were doing to improve your experience, here's why it's going to be worth the wait. Yeah, completely agreed, I mean, and I think we've, we've talked about this on the show before, we all sort of tend to agree that the Game Awards reaction to Zelda U was not nearly as excited as they... A, want people to be, and B, need people to be for Zelda U, especially in the, the more widespread gaming audience that watches the TGAs and not just Nintendo fans. So I think this they want to use this as their opportunity to say, look, remember last year when we were trying to get you hyped about Zelda U and it worked only okay? Well, this year we're going to give you everything you wanted. You know, this is going to be an incredible game. Tingle confirmed. <laughs> yeah, if they're going to do that, though, for the love of God, show an actual trailer. Uh, yeah, th I don't think they'll make that mistake again. That was the, the the clearest fumble. As much as Nintendo fans sort of appreciate hearing from from Miyamoto and, and Aonuma, I don't think that's appropriate for the general audience. Uh, and you know, this this actually goes back to what we were saying earlier about uh, the Game Awards. I think um, if if Twilight Princess HD gets announced, I think you could see them sort of collectively or just slowly building up hype for the Zelda 30th anniversary with Twilight Princess HD news now, and then a few weeks with uh, Zelda U news yeah. at the Game Awards. So there's there's definitely the opportunity there for them to start getting the ball yeah. rolling on some big things. Hello, everybody. Thank you for listening to this Nintendo Week Clip NWC. If you like what you hear, please subscribe to us here on YouTube for more highlights and discussion videos from Nintendo Week Podcast, or subscribe to us on iTunes for weekly breakdowns of all your Nintendo news, discussion segments on subjects, games, and more, and tons of other features. Thanks for listening, and we will see you tomorrow with another NWC.